Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Rus. I'm Nai, this is Z, and uh, we are continuing our 60 minute game. Uh, we are hey currently. Everyone. Yep. We are currently uh, setting up uh, such a way so we can get our uh, herd aspect going. We can try getting some deer and some wisens for the uh, mill over in Marble Cliff. And uh, awesome, that just finished. And uh, we're just basically gradually upgrading our. Uh, uh, gradually upgrading ourselves. Let's see, what what are these guys up to? Okay, they're they're raid upgrades. That's fine. These guys are the ones that are giving me some trouble because they're just they're not they're not really raid upgrade. Uh, I need some predator aspects, some exotic aspects to kind of make this uh, uh make this happen over here, and I don't have either. I need How a. Do you uh, get exotic. Uh, exotic is. Rock giant with a forest ambassador. Right. So um, that may be. I may actually do that. Um, I may be able to do that uh, from this forest uh, guy as soon as he spawns. So that might be doable pretty easily. And then you need your swamp to get a desert ambassador. Right. Which I might be able to get off of the uh, temple I have going over here. Okay, so these guys are... Uh, there's the Desert Ambassador, so that can give me the um, Predator Aspect for my Swamp Giant. So let me go get him to hunt that down. <coughs> See what I did there. <coughs> yes, yes. Very amusing. I thought it was. Okay, so let's clever. upgrade this guy to a rabbit, and I can upgrade him straight to a deer. Uh, and that uh, that's actually 103 food in use. So their food in use is good. It's technology that's going to be holding these guys back. Uh, but uh, I'm not 103 quite... food in use? Well, that's 107 possible food. Uh, the food in use they need is actually uh, 100. Uh, 100. I was about to say, 103 is kind of uh, very specific. Yeah. Um, okay, so now the market over here. See, this is... I'm very glad I set this up the way I did, because these guys, they want... See, here's the problem. The market has another specialization it can get that it will give plus 15 wealth for each animal in Borders. And that stacks really well with this prized prey, which gives plus 10 wealth for each patch within borders with at least two danger. Um, but uh, I don't know how easy that's going to be. But uh, we're going to be so uh, solving both of those right next to each other. But uh, these guys... Ah, they're accelerating too quickly! Damn! Lots of greed. Lots of greed. I mean, there's not really much I can do about it, so there's no point, like, crying over spilled milk kind of deal. Okay, these guys need food, so I need you to go over here and give me another uh, mackerel in this direction. Okay, we finally have a new uh, potential nomad who hopefully will be settling, yep, right here. I kind of hope he goes a little bit... Damn, I did not want him to be an ocean bearing thing but that's cool I'm not I'm not worried about that at all so we're gonna get these guys upgraded okay so now we have stone here uh, that wants a plant for the bonus tech um granary challenge okay so I uh, see I can show you this now so we have this was a granary this mill and its starting socialization was plus 15 food for each plant Let's see what this granary asks for, or what its uh, specialization is. Plus 15 food for each animal. So the specializations do have, I'm not sure how big of a pool it is, but the uh, specializations do have a pool that they use to decide which one you get. Interesting. And unfortunately, these guys are not quite uh, at the 90 I need them to be for food in use, but... Um, they should get there before too long. Well, I need to, I need to, what I need to do, basically, is, um, did you get your exotic a uh, predator aspect? Yes, you did. Okay. Uh, I need to turn this sea bass. mackerel into sea bass. Let's go ahead and get you over here to do that, and I need you. 
I see bass every day. Yeah, that's a joke that no one else will get. <laughs> um, no one else will get. Uh, let's toss you over here. Okay, well now we have our six villages. Okay, you're way too pleased with yourself about that one. <laughs> Maybe a little. Let's toss some herbs right here while I'm on my way over. Excellent. Uh, do I want... Uh, yeah, let's just drop... I don't... Oh, I don't have Toxic. Crap. Okay. Where was I sitting this guy? Oh, right. Over here to turn this into sea bass. Okay. Predator that up. And you... Tur ponderously turn the earth according to my whims. I need you to put a leaf aspect on that. Okay, Is so... Is this planet called the earth... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But for the time being, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, these guys, uh, they want minerals, and I can actually, oh, no, minerals. Toss them here, because I actually do not need that plant there. Actually, you go here, toss this here. Okay, now go over here. They need 120 minerals. That's going to be probably pretty hard for me to pull off. I'll go with that to create Barrow Cactus, uh, which gets plus 20 tech if there's at least 10 wealth in this patch. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off. Um, that, one, that one's animal. A chili pepper if I can get a greater toxic aspect. You don't even have a lesser toxic aspect. That's right. I do not. Um. God, I wish I could pull that off. And there's there's really no way for me to pull off uh, that much wealth on this patch. Got to think of how I'm going to pull this off. Seems well, like I only a bad need, combo. I only need four more technology in use. This isn't exactly... Not rocket surgery. Yeah, I just have to. Uh... Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Let's see. So salt will give me a bonus if I get minerals next to it. And copper wants um, wants animals. What is this asking for? This wants copper, anyways. Okay, so we're going to get uh, the Swamp Giant back over in that direction as soon as he finishes sea bassing. Which, wow, did you see that rocket up? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so those guys are done. Let's get you More to... Well, yeah, greed's going to be a thing with them. But uh, we're going to... Hopefully it won't be too much of an issue is how I'll say this. Okay, but we're actually, you know what? We're actually doing pretty good uh, for this point in the game. I'm actually pretty pleased with how we're doing. Let's go ahead and change this to this. We've got some agate. Um, I don't have a lesser noble aspect for that. Let's go ahead and upgrade this into copper. Okay, so if I upgrade this into iron... Uh, it'll give me plus five technology for each danger on that patch, but I'm not likely to have danger, so that's not something I'm really focused on. If I upgrade it into phosphorus, can only be done on the swamp. Okay, well, that sucks. That would have been perfect, but no, the game will not give me that. Nope. So, um... Seems oh, to be it, making things hard for you this time around. And actually, copper can't even activate unless it's, uh, if, unless there's wealth in use on this patch, which sucks. So that actually, uh... Changing it to copper just made it worse, actually. So, um... Oh, it even shows me the base effects. That's nice. Uh, let's see. So, it'll be 14 plus 5 and use for each danger. Actually, you know what? If I can get... This might actually work. Does this get better with iron, too? Okay, Swamp Ambassador just procced. Uh, so I gotta figure out who gets him. 
Uh, is this actually this does proc if I get iron, and this needs greater toxic. Can you? No. Okay. So who's gonna get the swamp guy? Uh. Swamp unlocks migrate for you. Um. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go do that. That sounds like a decent idea. Well, actually, I'm going to hold off, because there's nothing... It's not going to be too much of a bonus. Let's go ahead and toss another reaction aspect on this, which should come up potent. Which should allow me to turn this to iron. Okay. And, uh... These guys are up to 42, so these guys are done. Good. Okay. Next, I need to give these guys a butt-ton of gold. I don't have Noble Aspect available to me, so I cannot make Topaz. Which really sucks, because that's exactly what I would have wanted. Um, can I... Let's go ahead and do an exotic animal right here. And I'm going to have you give me another precious mineral right here. Will that be enough? Uh, no. But with the animal nest I'm about to create right here, I should be able to make something happen. Now it's up to 109. I still need 120. So I'm not quite there, but I have a plan. Oh, good. Yeah, I have a plan. Now, what great musk deer wants tech? Yeah, it's not going to happen. And I can't unlock that. So I need you to go over here. You're going to put down uh, some precious minerals as soon as that becomes a thing. Okay, how are these guys doing? These guys are going to get to 40. That's fine. This is the market we're working on. How about the granary over here? Uh, they still need a little bit more to push them up into uh, full 30. So let's go ahead and give them another... There we go. Okay. These guys want alchemy. And holy damn, do they want alchemy. Okay. 120 uh, tech in use. So these guys are saying they want copper or iron with borders, and if there's at least one to two white willow or hemp within borders, we'll get an even bigger bonus. And I can actually make both, I think. Let's go ahead and get that set up. You could do phosphorus over here. Yes, I can. I actually have the ability to create phosphorus now. So uh, let's go get to this guy. Okay, so these guys are done. These guys are not. So I need you to give me one more of this right here. Good. Now these guys are done. Okay, now I need you. This is actually... The fact that this is actually working out as well as it is amazes me. Yeah, everything looks like it's falling into place. It was kind of rough for a while there. And it typically is, I find. Okay, these guys seem to be stuck at... No, they're getting there. They're just taking them a while to grow. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, the granary I just made is not good enough to actually give me a uh, ambassador. They need better projects now. Uh, you, pick up that exotic aspect while you're passing by. Actually, nope, no, no, no. Oh, that's, that's wrong. Keep going. That wasn't uh, exotic. Okay. So, um... What upgrades Fun do rocking have? that way. Ah, this guy does not have... Toxic, that's right! Crab. Okay, it's cool. I will make this happen. Okay, you reaction that. Let's upgrade this to copper. And to make phosphorus, I need a potent reaction aspect, which means I need you to give me a monsoon right here. These guys are already up to 108, or 118, though. So, uh, this is not going to be a big deal. Lamebro, Lamebro is attacking the Forklift clan. Ooh, their greed went massive. Oh, of course it did. Do you, do you see how much resources they had yeah. available to? Okay, so let's go actually see how this war is going to end up going and if I need to uh, involve myself. 
94 defense versus 92 attack. Uh, li the Forklift Clan should be fine. Can I get you over here to just ensure that this goes right? Okay, I need you to give me an advanced mineral right there. And the bank challenge just started. Check this out. 75 food in use, 300 wealth in use, Jeez. 75 technology in use. And it has to have more wealth in use than all other villages. I think well, that's going to happen. Wealth in use, yeah, that's I think that's pretty exactly likely. Difficult. Okay, this war is already over. Uh, it looks like the Forklift Clan won. Okay, a forest ambassador just spawned, which should be able to give me uh, the rock giant, uh, his bonus, which is what I'm actually looking for. So let's get you over to uh, here. I want you upping that. Okay. These guys, how are these doing? Are these, are these guys? Yep, you're good. Uh, you guys are good. Wow, these guys are going to get goddamn greedy as hell. How about this bank over here? Okay. So now we can actually focus on the bank. Protectionism. Plus five wealth for each natural source controlled by this village. Plus an additional 50 wealth for each gold, musk deer, and coyote within borders. The second effect stacks up to three times. Wow. I think we can actually make good use of that. Can you get any of those resources? Uh, the musk deer, I can, I think. Uh, the, um, I need you to give me this over here. The rock giant's about to go get the uh, exotic aspect, so he's going to be able to give me musk deer. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a thing that we can do. Desert just unlocked, which, uh, why did I want desert? Why did I want desert? I know there's a reason I want a desert. Okay, if I give you... F you need forest to unlock fruit. You need swamp to unlock migrate. I'm gonna have you... Okay, I got a swamp, I got a forest, and I got a desert available. Now, the rock giant is going to pick up forest to get exotic, so that's out. So I have a swamp and I have a desert available. Uh, you want a forest, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to have this guy pick up the desert and get a second level of hunt aspect. What does hunt do do for you? Or hunt to do for you, rather. Hunt upgrades. Uh, a second hunt gives me level two of hunt aspect, which allows me to baseline potent hunt aspect and unlocks the greater hunt aspect for me. Which is good. And this guy now needs a potent predator or potent exotic. So I need you... Okay, where are you? Where are you at? Okay, you're almost there. Okay, these guys are going to finish what they're doing, so we're going to get that uh, swamp. And now everybody is going to have two different um, ambassadors, so I can now work into the level three ambassador range. Okay, you give me exotic right here. Now, who would want a swamp ambassador? That's the question. Okay. Okay. Swamp would give you a better seismic, which I don't want. Um, swamp would give you a better toxic, which do want. Go pick it up. That's actually exactly what I'm looking for right now. So now the upgrades. The upgrades are going really well this episode, actually. This is kind of perfect for me. Do you think you're going to get um, all of those achievements? Or? Not all of them. Uh -uh. Not by any means. But I think I'm going to get uh, a lot of the achievements I'm going to be aiming for. Which ones are you going for specifically We now? just unlocked Alchemy, so we have actually never done uh, this before. So we just unlocked another Swamp Ambassador. Um, I'm going to have to look. Just to kind of... I'm kind of playing it by ear right now. 
Okay, so we just gave them a big bonus. They're up to 174. I'm kind of worried right now about letting them go any higher than that. So I think I'm going to wait until they upgrade a little bit because I don't want them getting too greedy. Okay, I have two Swamp Ambassadors. Who could... Let's see, you want Forest, and another Swamp would give you a better... A better Aurora. No. What would a Swamp Ambassador give you? Better Herd? Don't really need Herd. That's not what I need. Uh, I could give you a better Leaf Aspect. Which I don't really... I'm not really interested in. That would give you a better Seismic... And it would give, and you're already picking up uh, Toxic. That Swamp Ambassador is probably just going to stand there for a while. Because I kind of have no need for his services. Okay, well, while we are, uh, there's a new, uh, do I have any space to put down another? No, I don't. I was going to say, I, I could have another village if I wanted it. Okay, so these guys... They have the 75 food in use they need, so I'm not concerned with that. What they need now is technology in use. So, you go give me advanced minerals right here. That's a lot of tech needed from zero. Well, remember, now I have great tech. So, to give you some comparison, he's about to place a great tech down. This is baseline tech from a tech uh, mineral, 10. To give you some example, it's not a... Is, is there another... Do I have another tech in desert available to show you a comparison um yeah so stone is the normal tech bonus he has so that only gives eight we're about to do great stone so watch this great stone 15 just from one so i got a seven stone bonus or seven uh tech bonus but check the specialization plus 10 if next to a plant plus 20 if next to a plant Ooh, wow. Yeah, you, you kind of see how it goes now. So now it's uh, not having, um, or now it's no longer a thing to get big numbers. You just have to gradually start upgrading things. But you also have to set it up in such a way that they're, you're not going to have, um, that you're not going to have your villages going on warpaths. So that's what I got to do right now. I've got to give these guys enough danger that they're not going to, excuse me, not going to be willing to go again. The problem with that is, they already have one war marker, and the more um, the war the more war markers they get, the more willing they will be to go to war. Aren't they the ones that got attacked already? Yes, but if they get greedy enough, they might want to start waging war. So if they start wanting to wage war, the fact they have a war marker is going to uh, make them more confident in going to war, and that's kind of not what I want to see. And it's already happening. Uh, lame. Oh, no, this is... Oh, oh, this is stupid. What the hell? They're attacking again? Yes, and they're attacking into... So their combat strength, they're attacking with 114 into 156. They're gonna lose. And I don't even have to be... Con I don't have to concern myself with saving their asses. Did I just... What did I just give them? I just gave them hunt aspect? Oh, he already had hunt aspect. Okay. What's well, that surprise aspect on that one? And we'll give them a rattlesnake, which should put some danger on this village. They have five danger, but they need 15 uh, in order to stop them from doing stupid things. So let's see about swapping out this animal so I can actually get that 15 going. Okay. Give me another predator here. There we go. Okay. So now these guys have 15 danger. They need a little bit more, sadly, because they're not quite ready. But uh, they just won the second war. Okay, now we have a lighthouse challenge. So we got something to keep our minds occupied. Okay. Um... Oh, wow, look how far out that got made. That must be at the very edge of their range right now. 
So they need 300 food in use, 200 wealth in use, and uh, 50 technology in use. I have no idea how I'm going to give these guys technology in use. I, I, I can't. I, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, but these guys will get plus 30 off for each clownfish within two range of the lighthouse. Uh, and then uh, they get plus 35 food and plus 5 off for each tuna or parrotfish within borders. So that's interesting. But that's going to be good for giving them food, but I have absolutely no idea how we're going to give these guys technology. Do, you have, do they have the prosperity they need so far? These guys? Uh, to get the achievement for the ocean and the animals only. Um, that's a good question. Uh, animal only requires 250, so they're 50 shy, but we're going to be able to get that. Uh, the ocean requirement, uh, which one is that? That's divided planet, blah, blah, blah. Is 400 village prosperity, and they're a long ways off of that. So I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to give these guys uh, what is necessary to give them... Um... I'm not sure I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to have to give them some specialized uh, care, but I have to. I want to get this bank going first. Now, these guys are thinking about starting a war, so I have to get more danger into their camp, but I think I'm going to be able to pull that off. I just have to put one of these right here. Predator that up. And these guys still have 15? What the hell's wrong with you guys? Okay, well, I'll predator this one up too. What the hell? I'm not having you guys go to freaking war. Done. How do you feel now? That's right. Now you get to fight the freaking hostile wasteland. God. Serves you right. Yeah, serves you guys right. Okay, um, we still need a lot more wealth, so I'm going to have to really step it up when it comes to wealth. But now these guys' greed is not going to grow because they have so much danger. So now I can actually make that happen. Okay, um, but first things first, we need to make wealth happen. So I need a reaction aspect out of you on that. Okay. Luckily, this will, uh, we're going to be getting uh, a lot of tech out of this. Okay. So, um, I might want to, okay, so that gives them tech. Now I need a gold mineral right here. Because we have plenty... Am I making great... No, I'm not making great quartz yet. Okay, um, I need a crystal aspect or a noble aspect. I only have exotic. I don't have noble yet. I need a desert ambassador. All we have is swamp. Uh, can you make crystal? No, you need a forest. So that's not going to happen. Um, damn. So I'm going to have to find another way to make that happen. Let's see, gold, mustier, and a coyote. I can get a coyote. That's a gray fox. How do I make... Can I make a coyote? Okay, and also, uh, you know how I was saying earlier that um, having a great version of an animal gives it more upgrade paths? If you look, the rattlesnake... Basic can only upgrade to a Gray Fox, but a Great Rattlesnake has Gray Fox plus two additional upgrade paths. It's pretty useful. Yeah. Um, okay. So the... Are the other upgrade paths uh, superior or just... Well, they're additional, but the problem is they're locked to me. Uh, it's not available to me at all. So um, I can't really do anything with it right now. What's on this path? A wizard, withered shrub. Okay. Uh, these guys are getting close. I'm going to have you turn this weathered shrub into an animal. And I want to see if I can make a coyote happen. If I can't, because uh, I have no idea what upgrade path you have to do to get a coyote. Okay, I might... 
let's do it. Let's do an exotic aspect on this guy and see if going the armadillo upgrade path will um will get me a coyote. Because these guys are so freaking close to having this upgraded. Come on. And then the uh, one of my forest guys just decided they want their level two. Um, looks like Ki I wonder if Coyote's locked. This is a great gray fox. Uh, what's so great about it? Let me just try this real quick. Great fox. Great fox is okay. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and drop this here. Mixing up references. I don't know, what were you referencing? Metal Gear. Ah, okay. Let's upgrade to Gray Fox. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, upgrading to Gray Fox did not give me what I was looking for. Uh, so, um... What are these guys? These guys still have 20? Okay. What if, I wonder what happens if I drop this. Let's go ahead and put down... Uh... Trying to think of a way I can get even more gold out of these guys. So each of these is giving plenty of wealth. How much nature is on that patch? Absolutely none. Damn. You just need a little more. Yeah, that's actually what I'm looking at, is I just need a tiny bit more. The problem is I don't have any access to gold, it looks like. Unfortunately. I have the musk deer, but um, that's the only musk deer I'm going to be able to get. Uh, I, yeah, I need just five freaking more. Can, would upgrading either of these do good things? Let me just take a look here. Well, guys, this has been an interesting episode at the very least. I think I'm going to just upgrade this into a po uh, into a, a better. Um, to a great gray fox and go from there. Do either of these already have... That already has a potent uh, predator. Fort Cliff Clan is attacking Lameboro again. This thing needs two... Are they going to lose again? Actually, wait. Fort Cliff Clan... For oh, crap. They're attacking back. It's going the other way this time. Even with all that danger? Yeah. And uh, Fort Cliff Clan's going to win. So we're going to have to do some divine intervention. Anyways, uh, ladies and gents, that has been the end of this episode. We are roughly halfway through the game uh, as of right now. So uh, we're doing, um, you know, we're doing okay. Uh, it's been uh, it's been an interesting, uh, interesting little bit so far, uh, I think is a, a safe thing to say right now. The Hamlet village just started. So we're back up to doing uh, multiple challenges at once. Anyways, uh, we'll start working on that later, uh, keeping track of wars, making sure they don't happen too good. Uh, we're going to be working on a mill, a hamlet, a lighthouse, a bank, and the bank's the one that's going to be the biggest pain in the ass. Uh, yeah. Oh, they need even more technology than I thought they did. Crap. But that'll be... manage that. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Don't forget to check in the comments, guys. Let me know how to do my jobs better. It's really helping me out. And uh, I will see you next time. Ta-ta. See ya.